Hello friends, I thought I would do a bit of a build update. If you remember okay, in the last right. video I released, I showed my build and I said it was a little bit, not quite best in slot, although pretty close. So I've made a pretty significant change to the build since then, so I thought I would go over that change and how it has helped. So the reason for the change was basically I was dying a lot to stuns and slows and really for me to play a light media assassin mobility is the absolute number one priority like i need to be able to kite my little butt off um and be really really mobile when i stop being mobile that's when i die like almost all the time everything else i can handle if a bow shooting at me i can line up sides um if it, i get into trouble i can just back off so just keeping mobile is the most important thing so even though everyone's sort of saying shaking heals enchanted and health is the best um best traits to get i really really wanted to try freedom because basically freedom is going to give you an almost 50 percent reduction in stuns and that slow when people hit you on the media attack all that kind of stuff and so i really thought that was going to be the big reduction so then Helping it was basically a case of well, if I'm gonna have freedom, what am I what am I replacing it with, yeah, right? And so it was a choice between obviously I wanna stop any burst damage, because that's the other thing that can kill me, which is why I like featherweight. Like if I get shot at by lots of bows all at once, if I'm not wearing featherweight I can die really quickly. So I felt like the choice was either shirking heels or health as the kind of second primary stat. And so but essentially shaking heals gives you the same amount as health every time you know like every cooldown which is like what i think it was like seven seconds but it's every time you dodge so i felt like shaking heals was still better than health and so what i basically went for was freedom and shaking heals and then tried to get either enchanted or health um, but let's get into the build and then i'll talk about how it's helped me or if it's helped me and um, yeah, give you some fights that I've had this week. Oh, hey guys, come on in. Listen, I did this house with my Iron Man, so may as well show it off since I'm not doing the Iron Man, Man anymore. Anyway, to the build. Okay. So, in the last build, I went over my weapons. These haven't changed. Um, this is the sort of next change I'm actually planning on making because I've got a few ideas. I don't think Serenity is actually the best because um, you do a lot of your... Like, the, the essentially the Serenity is based off heavy attacks and I never, never really heavy attack in PvP. So I'll probably change Serenity and also the Berserker's Axe. I'd rather get Penetrating Backstab and Rogue. Because I like to come up behind people with my hatchet and hit them. So I'm thinking <clears throat> that would be the other weapons. But what I'm actually doing is I'm leveling up my I'm leveling up my trade skills and then making the stuff myself. So this time round I made my armor. And then next time round it'll be the, the weapons. And then I guess probably the jewelry after that. So <clears throat> I'm still using Featherweight. I've already explained why. Mainly because... It does reduce, it does help with burst. So sometimes if you get hit by like three bows or three muskets or whatever, um, where if you're wearing tumbler, which would have been the other option, you'll just die because you just get burst to death. So featherweight really, really kind of helps with that. And then the next thing is you have the mobility so you can get to line of sight really quickly. Like usually if I'm running around, I always make sure I'm near some kind of line of sight. So if I do, do start getting pinged, I can get behind it pretty quickly. Um, assassin survivability you know what i'm saying 101 so i went for four freedom i'm still working on getting this gear complete like this is this um the gloves i need to like i want relentless freedom shaking heels and freedom and then i'll replace the last lot on this rather than having freedom i'd replace that with shaking heels but i'm kind of in the process of doing that because you can only have four freedoms which you can see i've got but only because i put the freedom on this slot here so i've got four freedoms and i've got shaking heels shaking heels shaking heels shaking heels when i manage to get freedom on this then there'll be a fifth shaking heels here 
And then for the third slot, I've taken what I can get, basically. So, for example, well, and then, of course, you do want shirking energy on your pants. Very, very important. Definitely want shirking energy. And you definitely want relentless freedom. Because these are all helping. This is all helping you with that mobility that you need as a light armor assassin. Well, they, like there's anything else if you're assessing your light armor, but you get what I'm saying. So, like for example, here it just I just rolled health because it's like a blimmin' what nine seven day cooldown or something to be able to get your three traits. So yeah, health was fine, and then I think one of them I got enchanted. Yeah, enchanted ward was the other. So yeah, I, I was pretty happy with that. I rolled a few of them just to, at least like if I get enchanted ward of health, I'm kind of happy. You know what I mean? So that's the armor. So that's the sort of update to the armor. And then the jewelry is just the same as it was. So uh, that's pretty much it. And then the skill tree. I'll just show it to you real quick. It is in my last video. Um, this is, is just an update after all. Usually I'm running around with 350 strength, 100 dexterity, 150 constitution. And um, this is my hatchet tree. So pop your little eyes on that and put whatever you want into it and then this is my greatsword tree so that's what i'm using all offense no defense so yeah uh that is basically it i do i think for the next video i want to actually try 350 decks and 150 strength i know there's a big damage drop off by using dexterity but i really do like the idea I've been able to clean stuns and roots again, adding to that mobility, you know what I mean? So, I want to go into some OPRs and see how much of a difference that actually makes in securing those kills. Because, yeah, next video, probably. Alright, so that's the build. Let's get into some fights that I've had and see how it's helped. But my overall impression of Freedom is it does make an impact, not a huge impact. Well, at least you don't really notice it like wow that's amazing but when you think back on it um you realize it is helping kind of behind the scenes a little bit like the survivability is crazy good like it definitely definitely is improved and you kind of don't notice it at the time but you know you just think well i was would have died in that situation if i hadn't have been if i hadn't have been able to break out of those stuns so i think it did what was expected. It really helped uh, increase your mobility and increase your survivability and your kite ability because you just weren't getting caught out as much. Okay, so like here, you'll see that I get myself caught in a little bit of a pickle here. I'm going for a kill on this healer. I'm trying to get this healer. And then I get surrounded by all these people. And then I manage to sort of duck behind the rocks. But then I get caught out again by a whole bunch of the immediate guys that are trying to pull me in and stun me. And the freedom just helps reduce those durations on those pulls and the stuns. So I actually get out with a sliver of life. And I don't think I would have been able to get that if I hadn't have been running a full stack of freedom. Here's another good example. I was getting completely shot at by the bows because I've been killing a few of their people off. Um, and then I get completely caught out by two of their melee which lock me in right here. Oh, no. No. Now if it wasn't for that freedom helping to reduce that slow there's no way i would have got away with my health there and survive let's not forget it also helps with attack i'm trying to kill this person here and they have a rapier so if you're going after a healer um and you get repulsed you know stupidly it will reduce the amount of time you're stunned for so you can actually stay on the offensive for longer as well which is one of the massive benefits of freedom but right here, just after killing them, I get caught out again yeah, by the melee. Me. But you can see the freedom just gives me that extra half a second to get away. And again, I just don't think I would have if it wasn't for freedom. And then again, it's like they put slows on you with blunderbuss. But because you've got freedom, it reduces the amount of time. So you can just get away from the search for easier. So here I am using that line of sight after being slowed quite heavily. And I'm just kiting out this person waiting for the opportunity to strike and then it comes and I pop down my ulti so I can get my health back and then yeah kill them off um so it just helps you turn from being defensive to offensive really quicker as well as with your survivability and mobility so I think it was a good choice
All right, so let's get into some good fights that I had this week. This was a good little 1v4 where my duo partner, oh my Jack, ends up getting murdered. No, fuck. I'm dead. That's dumb. And then I end up having to fight them on my own. And he's still fucking talking to me about what he's had for dinner and shit, which is bloody annoying. But, um, yeah, so right now I'm really focused on that person because I know they're squishy and low at health. So I'm really trying to kill them down because it'll give me an extra chance. So let's try to get them there. And then I just need to get away to create some stuns. space and get my cooldowns off. So I'm just pulling them away, waiting to, and then I go in again, trying to find the squishy target, which is clearly this dude here. But they're definitely stunning me, but again, see there's that freedom, it's allowing me to get that extra bit of damage if I kill him. I know so I, I had to fight death, kill two of them. so I was able to stay out. aggressive for a lot longer. And then um, I back mm -hmm. off and I'm calling to my teammate, I'm like, you need to get here. And that then I managed to crazy. kill this other guy. Yeah. And so I managed to kill him. I wail quite loudly, so I've just silenced this little audio part so you don't have to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. So the same guys came the back and started trying guy. to attack us over know. and over. So um, I didn't really feel like we'd done anything too bad. So we got into another little scuffle with them, but this time Jack was with me. They were all focusing Jack pretty hard, so it was kind of good. I had free range just to keep attacking them. So I kill this healer I'm guy. I'm getting fucking shot at again. There's a Jack's, but I'm Jack's complaining as per. I'm and sure. then I get on this bow guy that's getting on him. Give him a bit of breathing room. Every cat and his fucking dog. Look at that damage of the greatsword. God, it's a beautiful thing to behold, isn't it? Lock him down with yeah, my hatchet down. throw. And then Jack runs up. I just get my health back a little bit. And then I chase after him. The guy, because the guy tries to run away, obviously, because now it's a 1v2. He's happy when it was like, okay. he outnumbered us, but not happy when we outnumbered him and then oh, finish him off. Oh, nice. Good job. Okay, here I find someone napping. <laughs> so it's a true gank. <sighs> and then I just put a lot of damage to them so they can't get away. And then, to be honest, my goal was actually just to bring down the spawn point, because I knew they were just going to keep respawning if I killed them. So I'm sort of just taking it easy. Trying to avoid taking damage and just trying to kill this thing. So it wasn't too stressed. But what that actually allowed me to do, I was sort of moving around, trying to avoid damage, do some damage, but, but that actually helped me because then they weren't expecting okay, me to suddenly turn around and attack them. So here I jump down and I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to kill this guy off. And he just totally wasn't expecting it. So then it's just like, boom. And then Jack arrives. And so it's pretty much um, game over at that point because now we've like evened the odds completely. Crazy, so here I am at the back cap again. One of the things I really like about the Great Sword is its ability to turn the fight around. So I'm fighting two people again, and I'm actually focusing on Luna here. But then I see an opportunity to kill the other guy because he kind of comes up in my way. So here I go for this big Great Sword. And I see they're both damaged, so that I actually managed to finish him off. But I get out because my health's obviously low. Trying to get to line of sight where they can't just ping me with a fireball or Maybe something. You see them climbing up. I know they're going to come out and try to attack me. There she goes. So I'm just trying to get my health back up. I actually get a shaking heal. Heal. And so then I just go ham on her to try to turn the fight around. Good, that's the good thing about the great sword is it just does so much damage like that that you can... Like, this is the perfect example. They were running around, we're just trying to bait them around, and then we're going to launch an attack on them at the same time. Look how much damage I do to them. Just... Holy shit, look at that. I mean, Jack's using his great sword too, but we just about wiped the whole group out in just like two hits. So, that was also very bloody nice to see. Got him. <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone for watching the videos, and um, hopefully I'll have more, well, I'll definitely have more fights again next week on the Assassin. I'm thinking Dex, I'm going to try Dex, like I said, but we'll see how it goes. I've also said that I'm going to start making videos on like game sense and how to pick your targets so, so hopefully increase your kills so that's something I'm keen on doing too. So the order, I don't know what it's going to come in. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I'll leave you with this last fight and I will see you all again very shortly.